Hello, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Leila Josephine. And today you are performing? Yes, I have a poem called I Think She Was a She that I would like to perform for you. Okay. I think she was a she. No, I know she was a she and I think she would have looked exactly like me. Full cheeks, hazel eyes and thick brown hair that I could have plaited into dreams at night. I would have stuck up glow-up stars in her ceiling and told her that they were fireflies to protect her from the dark. I would have told her stories about her grandfather. We could have fed the swans at Victoria Park. She would have been like you too. Long limbs with a sarcastic smile and the newest pair of kicks. She would have been tough. Tougher than I ever was and I would have taught her all that my mother taught me. And I would have taken her to the museums and there we would see the bone dinosaurs. And she could look to them and wonder about all the things that came before she was born. She could have been born. And I would have made sure that there was space in the wall to measure her height as she grew. I would have made sure that I was a good mother to look up to. But I would have supported her right to choose. To choose a life for herself, a path for herself. I would have died for that right like she died for mine. I'm sorry, but you came at the wrong time. I am not ashamed. I am not ashamed. I am not ashamed. I'm so sick of keeping these words contained. I am not ashamed. I was a teenage girl with a boy she loved between her thighs that felt very far away. Duvet days and dole don't do family planning well. I am one in three. I am one in three. I am one in three. I had to carve down that little cherry tree that had rooted itself in my blood and blossomed in my brain of responsibility I didn't have the age or energy to maintain. The branches casting shadows over the rest of my garden. The bark causing my thoughts, my heart to harden. I am not ashamed. It's a hollowness that feels full, a numbness that feels heavy. Stop trying to fit how this feels on an NHS bereavement brochure already. I am allowed to feel it all. I am allowed to feel I am woman now. I am made of steel and she wasn't a girl. And she wasn't a boy. That's just the bullshit you receive to keep you out of parliament and stuck on maternity leave. Don't you mutter murder on me. 70,000 per year, 70,000 per year, 70,000 year dead, that's 192 per day from coat hangers, painkillers, the back alleyway way, don't you mutter murder on me. Worldwide performing abortion like homework, looking for the answers in the grooves of our palms, the bulges in our bellies, the whispers in our ears, only to be confronted with question marks. Women have been hidden away in the history books. After all, it's history, his story. Well, this is her story, our story. God damn it, this is my story and it will not be written in pencil and erased with guilt. It will be written in pen and spoken with courage. You will hear it on the radio on your way to work. You will study it in English. You will read it on the coffee shop built in boards next to the flyer about yoga for babies because I am not ashamed. I'm so sick of keeping these words contained. I am woman now. I will not be tamed. I have a determination that this termination will still have a form of creation. It will not be wasted because this is my body. This is my body. This is my body. And I don't care about your ignorant views. When I become a mother, it'll be when I choose.